So in the previous video, we set our system up so when an admin created a user, it would send them an email for them to reset the password. And we're going to expand upon this and allow any user to send themselves a password reset. Because at the moment, if a user forgets the password, there's no way for them to reset it. Let me just log out of this uh, admin user here. And as you can see on the login page, if a user has forgot their password, there's no way for them to reset it. So let's build out that functionality now using Laravel 45 to power the back end. So the first thing we're going to do is create a link to our reset password page on the login page. So under the root of our project, under resources, views, I'm going to come down to auth and open up our login.blade.php file. And then outside of the form at the bottom, I'm just going to create a new link. And I'm going to give this a href and then open up our blade syntax here. And I'm going to send that to a root. I'm going to send that to a root with the name of, and Laravel 45 provides the names for some of the roots. And one of them is the password reset root. So let's just list out our roots. So in the root of our project, we can do a PHP artisan root colon list. Now let me just expand this so it's easier to read. The font is massive for the recording. And we want to come up and find this link here to our forget password. And this works in tandem with the reset password. So a user is going to go to the forgot password page first, put in their email address, and then it's going to send a link out for them to reset their password, which is what we implemented in the previous video. So what we want to do here is use the link with the name of password.request. So I'm just going to copy that and then paste that in there. And then for the link, I'm going to say forgotten your password, reset it here. Let's just take a look at this in the browser. You can see now we have a link to that reset password, but we haven't actually created that page yet. So this should give us an error. As you can see there, we haven't told Laravel 45 where it can find that view. As always, with everything in Laravel 45, let's jump over to App, Providers, and open up that 45 service provider. And that's with our other pages. We just need to let Laravel 45 know where to find the view. So let's call the 45 facade again. And this time we want to say request password reset link view. And then like the other methods above, I'm going to pass in a closure into here. And then inside of here, we just return a view. So I'm going to return a view. And I'm going to put mine in the auth folder. And I'm going to call it forgot hyphen password. So Laravel 45 now knows what view we want to return. Let's actually create that view. So under resources views auth, I'm actually going to copy this login.blade.php file. I just paste that into the auth folder. And I'm going to rename that to forgot hyphen password and then inside of this view i'm just going to give this a new heading called reset password and then let's just take a look at this in the browser to make sure we've got this working so let's just refresh on this page and you can see now we have our reset password page now for this to work the only thing we need is the email address so the user can submit their email address so let's remove this link we just added to the login page and that password field as we're not using them on the reset password page. So over in our code, we need to send a post and we need the CSRF token. We need to change this root here. And if we just head back over to our roots, we can see here we're sending a post to forgot password. And this one is called password.email. So we can keep the root here and we can say go to the named root password.email. We need the email address for the user. We don't need the password field on this forgot password page, and we don't need our reset password here. And then that's it. That's all we need to get this up and running. So what this will do is it'll send a post request off to Laravel 45, and all being well, it will return you back to the forgot password page with a status set in the session. Now, if you remember correctly in the previous video, we set up our notifications partial to listen out for Laravel 45 statuses. We've already got everything in place to handle that. So let's just give this a try. So I'm just going to refresh this page and I'm just going to take a random email address from one of the randomly generated users and just paste that in there. I've just noticed we need to change the text on that because we're not logging in. So let's just do that quickly now. So on the button, instead of login, we want to say reset password. So a quick refresh on this page. And where you can see we have the correct text around for the button. I'm just going to paste that email address in again and hit that reset password button. 
And you can see now we have our status that we set up in the previous video. This is coming from Laravel Fortify automatically for us. We don't have to do anything. And we say we have emailed your password reset link. So if you remember correctly, in the previous video, I set up MailTrap for the mail. So over in MailTrap, we've got the reset password notification here. Now let's just click this link. And then this takes us to the password reset form that we created in the previous video. And then the user can just carry on through the normal flow and reset their account password. So that's everything set up that we need for the password reset flow for a user. That was just a short video this time around. In the next video, I'm going to look at setting up email verification. Now, this is an optional step and you don't have to do it if you don't want, but it's completely up to you. I'm going to show you how to do it and how to handle it all with inside of Laravel Fortify. And what this means is users can't access certain parts of the application or even all of it. It's completely up to you if they've not verified their email. When the user registers, they'll get an email sent out to them with a verification link. And then once they click that and they've verified their account, then you can give them access to certain parts of the application. So as always, if you like this video, give it the thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and check out my channel because I have a lot more Laravel content on there. Also, if you're on Twitter, don't forget to give me a follow on there. I go and give updates on the up and coming videos that are going to be released on my channel. So you can stay up to date with new content.